Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to a meaty Monday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Views. My, my buddy Ralph, he'll bring me some beers and different things from time to time. You know, because he knows I do reviews and like enjoy doing them and stuff like that. He's He has a friend that makes homemade wine and homemade mead, or homemade as I call it. And his and he, his name is Rob Campbell. And, and Rob gave my buddy Ralph four bottles of mead, home mead, uh, for me to try. That, that's the understanding I got, that he gave them to Ralph to give to me so I, I would try them. Um, and that may not be right. I, that's just the way I understood it. But anyway, um, he gave him this bottle of mead here, and it is a pineapple mead. Uh, it says, and, and he made a homemade label for it and everything. He put his own, you know, his own notes on it and everything. It's a pineapple mead born on 5-11-23, so it's a little over a year old. Uh, the ABV is 12.3%. Um, and his notes on here are very dry, could use sugar. That's, that's the notes, and it's a hand, handwritten note that he taped to the bottle. This is, this is done by Rob Campbell, a buddy of my friend, uh, uh, Ralph Fitzmaurice there at work. And he brought it to me and I said, I, you dadgum right, I'll review it. Um, I did a mead last, last Monday by him. And he also gave my buddy Ralph a, a Pino Grigio, a homemade wine that I did not too long ago. And it was delicious as well. So let's see if we get a little pop out of this bottle here. Well, come off. No, guess not. My, my thing come completely out of the bottle. What the hell? Never seen that happen. Put that back in there. These bottles are cool. I can keep these bottles. All right, so this is a pineapple mead on a home mead Monday. One of the Bell Buckle Bear Views. And y'all, mead is made with honey, not any kind of grain. And it smells like honey. Oh man, it smells like a deep, rich, local honey is what it smells like, man. Um, now this is, a, he's, it, this is a pineapple mead. <coughs> But it smells like a deep, rich local honey. If you, if you, uh, if you're able to go and and purchase uh, local honey, that that is the, the best stuff for you holistically. Uh, local honey is supposed to uh, help prevent allergies and different things like that because it's it's local, and the bees you know pollinate different things and and that incorporates in the honey. Local honey is supposed to be really good for you, y'all. So if you have a a, a a beekeeper close by, support them. Support your local beekeepers. I mean, they, they do an important job, and, and their honey is outstanding. <laughs> so let's try this uh, pineapple mead. It says very dry and could use sugar on the, on the label here. And I'm assuming th those are notes to himself when he made this. But this is a little over a year old. Let's see what we got here. Smells so good. I'm not getting any pineapple out of the aroma. It's just a deep, rich, local honey type aroma I'm getting. All right, I forgot. I, I got ahead of myself. This uh, pineapple homemade from uh, Rob Campbell via my buddy Ralph Fitzmaurice is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families just like I do. This uh, pineapple homemade is for you. Cheers, brothers and sisters. All right, so I took just a little bit of sip before I gave the introduction. Um... I took a bigger sip then. Uh, it says very dry, could use sugar. 
I'll agree with the very dry part. Dad, come it, get off me, stupid fly, bite me on the leg. I'm out here in my shorts and I got these old damn chicken legs, these white chicken legs out here. The flies are going to town. Anyway, um, I agree with the very dry. It's very dry, but could use sugar? I, man, I think it's good like it is. Um, this has got a very good flavor to it. Uh, the honey is not so pronounced in the, in the flavor of the body, but um, the aroma I was getting off of it, nothing pineapple, but I, it smelled like a deep, rich, local honey, man. It was, a, was the aroma I was, I was getting off of it. Uh, the flavor, even though it's dry, it's, it says very dry. I don't know. I guess I've had drier stuff. It's it doesn't. It, I mean, it's dry, but I don't think it's very dry. Um, could you sugar? I disagree with that, man. It tastes good to me. I don't know. There's a little tartness in the finish, maybe, but I'm not getting any kind of pineapple flavor at all. I'm not getting any pineapple. Um, it's got a it's got a fruity type flavor to it But nothing you could pinpoint and say hey, this is pineapple. It's not really got that But the flavor is good and it's got just a touch of tartness in the finish Which I, I don't think I don't think you need any sugar to this. This is good stuff to me um, And basically y'all if y'all don't know Mead of course it's made from honey but it's considered like a honey wine uh, instead of a, a, an ale. I, I mean, I guess they make, they do make uh, lower ABVs of uh, mead, and I've had a few of them that are really good. Um, but this one being a 12.3%, I, I consider it more in the wine family than the, the ale family. For what, I, that's just in my head. I don't, that's not a rule or anything. That's just the way I categorize stuff in my head. You know, if it's very high on the alcohol content, you know, tends to be more of a wine type thing uh, when it comes to mead anyway. Um, I've had some different meads, you know, they're five, six percent, stuff like that. I have enjoyed them. I mean, they're not really my thing, but this this in particular, a 12.3% ABV, this is more like a wine to me. And I'm not, a, I'm not a wine connoisseur by any stretch or a beer, liquor, or anything else. You know, I just know kind of what I like. And this is good to me. Um, I think the last one I did was a 7 point something percent ABV. I can't remember what the flavor was. Damn it, I just did it last week, but I can't remember. But I think I like this one better at a 12.3%. Um, even though I'm not getting a pineapple, I still think it's got a good flavor to it. Um, it's a fruity, it's a fruity flavor, not necessarily a pineapple flavor, but it's still good. Um, and I'm still, I'm getting a little bit of that honey in the finish. Um, after you take a sip of it, you kind of get the fruity flavor, and then and after it goes down, you're getting just a little bit of that that uh, local honey, that that deep rich honey, just a little bit in the aftertaste. Uh, this is good stuff to me, man. I, I mean, for a homemade. Uh, somebody just doing their own thing this is this is good man I'm, I'm gonna score it an A uh, this is very drinkable 12.3% uh, y'all um, it's not harsh in any kind of way and uh, Rob I, I appreciate you sending this to me via Ralph and Ralph I appreciate you bringing it to me this is this is good stuff and I've got two more to try y'all so y'all stay tuned on these meaty Mondays I'll be doing these these home meads for y'all I'll be back tomorrow for a, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, taste challenge, deja vu Tuesday, taste challenge, I'm going to do something tomorrow, so y'all stay tuned, take care, I love and appreciate y'all, cheers. Mm. This is good, it's not a chuggable thing, but, but it's good.